Hey guys, it's watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Look at all these trees, hey? AJ's finally doing some off-camera work and placing some trees down. We've nearly got to the university on that side. And on this side, you can see I've just placed these spruce trees down for the moment. We've still got the birch and the oak ones to do, but the spruce ones are the hardest ones uh, to grow. They sort of are the most picky ones. So you place those down first, you let them grow, or you bone meal them if you've got the time to. And then... Uh, you add the spruce, add the birch, sorry, and the oak ones afterwards. We're going to be working over here today because you know what I really fancy? You know what I've got a real hankering for? A house. I want to build a house. But I want to build a modern house. We don't do too many modern houses. They're very sparse in this city. In fact, they're very few and far between. But we do have this sort of little collection of modernish houses over here. And I reckon, you can see where I've flattened out an area here and we've still got some dirt left even from where I, I removed the clumps. I reckon if we sort of extend this piece of land along here, we could probably get another three modern houses on this side of the road. And that'd be cool, like a little sort of estate that you drive through on the way up the mountain here of modern houses. Very cool. So I was online, I was looking for some inspiration for some uh, modern houses, like a, a plan or a shape that I liked or a feature that I liked, like I always do. And I came across this guy on YouTube called Resile. Now, you guys might have heard of him. He's actually, uh, relatively, I haven't heard of him but before this, uh, but he's got nearly a million subscribers here on YouTube. He uploads about once or twice a month from what I can see on his channel. Uh, I've never heard of him before. I can't believe I've never heard of him before, but he does loads like every single video of his at least recently has been building tutorials like house tutorials modern houses and suburban houses so if you're looking for some inspiration apart from this channel go and check out Resile. really really cool he doesn't need a shout out for sure with a million subscribers or nearly a million subscribers but man credit when credit's due these houses are, are some really cool ones on there some really cool designs now i'm not going to copy it block for block i'm not going to count out how wide everything is and how long that wall is and how far back it goes we're just going to sort of place down a few blocks and get a similar shape than what he's got and uh, and a similar design because I just really like it. I really appreciate a good design. Now, something that I can notice straight away is that his garage, we're going to have a little bit of a driveway here, not too much, just one that goes into the garage. But his garage doors are five blocks wide, which are the same as what we do on our garage doors on our city, which is nice. But then there's a little bit of uh, an odd statement he makes on the video of uh, him building this house. He says very interestingly, this is a large modern house, he says, a large modern house. Now to me, this is a small house, a very, very small house. Um, we must, me and him must work on a very different scale to each other. Um, I'm definitely used to uh, a lot larger houses than this uh, in our city. Now, I say, as I say, I'm not going to count out st certain blocks. Uh, I'm not using all the same blocks as what he's using either. I don't know. He's definitely using a different texture pack to what I have. He's got some sort of custom texture pack on, which makes it very difficult for me to be able to tell what blocks he's actually using. But I don't really care too much. Um, I much rather sort of pick my own blocks here, which is why I'm using spruce wood here to go with the quartz, because I think it's a really nice contrast. They go together so well, and I, I really want to sort of keep that design going through. Now, I've been away from home while well, I'm just building this here. This is a nice sort of simple build, a lot of this. I've been away from home for a week. Can you believe it? Um, out on business trip for um, my job, my real job, <laughs> away from YouTube. And uh, it was a bit surreal, really. It's sort of the first time that I've actually been uh, away from home for that sort of amount of time. Uh, grab that. Put a button. Yeah. Awesome. So, like, uh, you know, I've been away from home a little bit here and there, but I haven't really spent time away from home. It's, you know, certainly not like uh, a week. Now, the hotel that I stayed in was lovely. Really, really nice hotel. Lovely bed. Very, very comfortable. Um, but there were some things that there were some things I really liked. I'll say about being away. But there were some things that I uh, I missed. Uh, I missed, for example. Uh, my bed. I think that's probably the most important. No, <laughs> hold on. That's not the most important. I think the most important thing that I missed was my family and my fiance. The second most important thing I missed was my bed. I do like my bed. My bed is extremely important to me. Uh, 
it's it's got like the creases where i want the creases my body fits in it really nice same as my sofa i've got my little butt crease on my sofa and uh, after being away for a week you sort of lose the butt crease in it <laughs> so i've had to work to get that back last night while sitting on the sofa catching up with all the youtube because obviously uh, i didn't have my computer i had a tablet um and my phone that i took with me so i could sort of just uh you know keeping track with you guys on twitter and in the comments and stuff like that um but i didn't have like youtube itself uh to be able to watch uh and stuff because the internet was, really wasn't great at the hotel that was something that i missed was just general uh internet and stuff um but yeah i had to keep up with all the the emails there was some stuff though however oops i'm gonna move this back uh there was some stuff however that uh, i did really like for example dogs there was no dogs now i like dogs don't say don't, don't don't get this wrong i like dogs okay and i've got one two three four technically five dogs uh where i am now okay at my house but uh and i love them very much but the barking does drive me a little bit insane <laughs> just just a little bit um like like they bark when they hear a noise or they bark if they see something outside and it's nice, you know, they're protecting the house. They're protecting, you know, the family and stuff. Um, but I, I, I do like a little bit of peace here and there. And uh, having no dogs in the hotel. And there wasn't really any dogs nearby, it seemed. I never really heard any any barking in the distance or anything. Which is really nice. So I've done this a little bit different to um, Vizile has. This little different roof part. Oh, my mouse froze. A little bit different, but I'm just sort of adding my own little spin on it. Stuff that I like. Um... Hmm. He used normal clay block up here. I don't know if I. I don't know if I hundred percent like. Oh no, he might have just used quartz. Actually, it might just be quartz. I think I'm going to use clay in there. I think it gives a little bit more texture in this, in this um, hidden under part here. We'll see. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, dogs, internet. Oh yeah, and the other thing that I, uh, I really actually enjoyed about being in the hotel was flies okay now where i live i live out in the uh countryside okay and out in the countryside here we do get a lot of flies it's not that the uh house or i hope it's not that the house is you know just dirty or whatever it's just that out in the countryside there's a lot of flies and we've got a lot of animals and uh and stuff like that so you do end up getting uh flies about but it was really nice for that week uh to not have any flies i don't think i saw a single fly i was uh, very much in the city and i don't know if like maybe in the city they don't um or in a, i was in a city not in my city if i was in my city i wouldn't have <laughs> stayed in the hotel i'd have just drove there i mean in the city that i was in uh, there just wasn't any flies May maybe um they stay away from the city maybe it was the hotel they stray something a lot or something like that to uh, keep them at bay um but yeah, it, that that was really nice. It just like a change that I'm just never really used to. I don't know how he's done this back here, but I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to put two, or oh, I can't put two, three wide windows in. Okay, no worries. We'll make up our own back. I'm going to put that in like this. I'm going to have a window. Should I put the window opposite that window? Can I do that? Will it, Do I have enough room? I should have. Oops, and I should have done it a block back as well. I should do it back here. Uh, uh, uh. so that window should be opposite that window and then i'm gonna break that oh that works out pretty well so i've got like two blocks here of spruce and two blocks here is spruce that works out pretty well yeah i like that I'll put this along here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. trying to get it all to join up and match in together uh so yeah i mean uh, i missed my family and i missed my bed and stuff there were some plus points and there were some down points. Uh, I didn't enjoy the business trip. Um, wasn't in an area that I wanted to be at all. I like being at home. Uh, but sometimes you just have to do things that you don't want to do. It's a good life lesson. Okay, I'm going to use our normal roof block here. Uh, for our flat roofs. This nice sort of grey um, andesite texture. It's not quite andesite. We lightened it up in... Um, in photoshop when we originally made the uh the texture pack for this 
Uh, but yeah, that goes like that. That should go down there like that. I definitely don't need any wi a window. Isn't going to fit in there at all. And do I want a window in the back? So he's got this sort of wraparound window here. I think I'm going to do maybe a three and then a little wraparound like that. But then this area will be blocked up. You don't want too many windows. And uh, I always think that maybe this room should be a bedroom. Should be the bedroom. And you never want too many windows in a bedroom. I think that will work out really nicely. Hmm. So yeah, my question for you guys is in the comments section. What is your... It's like a two-parter, okay? It's like an A and a B part. A... When you've been on holiday or away from home, what has been your favourite part of it? Has it been being away from school? <laughs> or has it been um, being with your family? Uh, and then B, what has been the uh, part when you're on holiday that you've missed the most? For me, it's my family because I was away from my family and my bed. I think those are the two things that I miss the most. And let me know what is your, your favourite thing about being away and what is your uh, least favourite thing of being away. Be interested to see what everybody sort of has, or the, uh, you know, the perception that everybody has uh, about it all. Okay, really cool. Now, he used glass. Let's try black glass here. He used black glass as like a little fence that goes around the side here. Oh, I don't know if it was black glass. It might have just been his normal glass texture. But he's sort of done that. Yeah, I can see that. That's pretty nice. And he also had a little very basic one block high leaf hedge. That went around here. I don't know how far he wrapped it around the building. I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to take it to there. And stop there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then on the front here, again, he used quartz. But um, I'm not... I'm going to get a couple of chairs out front because we have the chairs here. Ah, they join up, do they? Uh, do the, I don't think the couches join up. No, the couches don't join up. And the table, I don't think the table should join up either. Oh, the table does really. Um, will a stair join up? stair won't join up okay so we'll do it like that very very nice like overall uh, his house is a little bit different to mine oh and he had a uh it was a nice little touch actually he had a windowsill on there which just i think well matches our oak furniture over here which is cool i wonder if we done one over here he doesn't have one up there but if we do i think it just brings the oak that we've got uh, as that furniture there it just sort of brings it around the building I might put them on, on all of them, in fact. I think I think I like that. And we've got the little um, uh, wooden button there, little oak button to make the uh, that powers the door. So I think we've really incorporated oak wood in here nicely as well. Okay, uh, let's do a one. We'll finish this off. It's really nice. Sort of all of the hard work was done for me this episode. You know, the, the shape and, and, and some of the design and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I think that was really nice. We put some gravel down here. Which is why we've been able to do a whole... Sort of this whole house in one episode. <laughs> a hole in the ground. Let's uh, fill that up. Ta-da! Uh, what else do we want? Like, i got like a little wall. Oh, I like that style wall. But I can't have that style wall opposite the other one. Seems like we use a lot of... Um, stone wall blocks. Or one on that one and one on that one. So yeah, if we can sort of keep that. Maybe I'll put a block in the ground. Like a uh, 159.9 or something. Yeah. And then. Yeah, just so it doesn't sit on the grass. Would it look weird having one there? I don't think so. I think I like that actually. Okay, and there we go. Now, I don't know how far back he goes from the image that I've got. It looks to be about the same. Like, this is a pretty same size footprint to his house. But he classes this as a large house. Now, if we go inside here, 
I don't class this as maybe he's talking about survival, maybe, but still, it wouldn't be a large survival house. I don't know. I I class this as a small house. Maybe maybe edging into medium. You know, you'd have the garage down here. You might even be able to get away with like a lower level, like a basement-ish level there. You could probably get like one or two rooms out of this floor here, not going into the garage. And then you'd have like a bedroom up here. And like like five, six rooms-ish, that kind of deal. But yeah, no, I like it. I think it's a, I think it's a stunning building, which is why I um which is why I wanted to build it for ourselves in the city. Uh, can I put a door in? What door would work well? Would this one? Would the birch work well? Yeah, the birch works well. It nearly matches the oak. Yeah, a couple of doors in there as well. Alright, I'm happy with that, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. It's a little bit different using someone else's sort of design in the city like this. Um, but I think, you know, credit where credit's due. you got to appreciate other people's builds and... You can't appreciate someone's build more than building their one yourself. Really cool. I really like it. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!